The T2 here is a world premier price attractive turning centre from DMG Mori. We're here in Fronten and Paul, this isn't the only machine in its range, is it? No, there's a T1 as well, brand new. We're seeing it here as a world premier. We've known DMG Mori for years for producing turning centres, um, but on this occasion, they've kept it really simple. And that's what it's about. I mean, it's a machine that will fit into tool rooms, it fits into any manufacturing business. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a turret, it's got a tail stop, and it's got a spindle. Right, OK, let's talk about the sizes of the models, because that's quite important. I mean, really, when you look at the T1 and the T2, it's basically either an 8-inch chuck machine on the T1 or a 10-inch uh, when it comes to the T2. The fundamental differences as well on the turret is the T, uh, T1 has a VDI 30 turret and the T2 has a VDI 40 turret. And the options that you can have with the machine, here you see we've got driven tools, so you can have either a two-axis machine or a machine with driven tools and... Uh, and a C-axis on the spindle. Is there anything quite familiar about these machines that you mentioned about the turning centers that they've got that are incredibly successful, but they've got to have that kind of DMG Mori familiarity about them? Well, I think that's the important point. I think, it, I think if you're an established machine tool builder, you know what's good and you know what's bad. And when you've had successes on previous machines, of course, you're going to adopt and bring some of that technology across, even to models that, as I say, they're keeping it really simple. So in answer to your question, things like the turret, stuff like that, all uh, incorporated from other machine models as well. Okay, I'm looking at the control panel now and it does look very different, very different to what I'm used to seeing. I, I, I've said this three times, keep it simple. I mean, a touchscreen control, Siemens is the control of choice here on this particular machine here, but there are, of course, options. Um, here you've got no buttons on this control, it's all touchscreen, so the new generation, the youngsters coming through, are going to be really familiar with this, they're going to find it easy, it's very intuitive. The programming, as we all know with, with Siemens and, and the software that they use, it just keeps it simple. And you can obviously have technology cycles in here as well, right. which can improve uh, machine performance. You're talking about keeping it simple options, because I said price attractive. So what options have you got? So there's three uh, different um, alternatives, really. You can have the complete uh, range, or you can have the plus, or you can have the complete model, I should say, or the plus model, or the pro model. And that just means that on either of those, there's slightly different uh, options that come as standard with the machine. Once again, fourth time, keeping it simple. Keep it simple. If you're turning, do speak to DMG Mori about their T1 and T2 range.